If you have an addiction to food, will GLP-1s work for you? Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Megan. I'm a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this is really important because I actually prescribe these medications all the time. I actually talk to patients about their weight all the time. I've helped hundreds of people lose weight and I'm here to help you too. So if you're confused about your weight, if you have questions about weight medicines, and if you want medically based answers to your weight questions, you are in the right place. Welcome. Today's topic is from viewer questions. And basically they all simmer down to the same question, which is if I have a food addiction, if I am a food addict, meaning I'm using food in the same way as somebody might use alcohol, if they have a problem, I'm eating to the point where I can't stop myself from eating, I'm using eating as an emotional crutch, I'm, eat, I'm using eating as a way to numb myself and I feel like it's to the point where I can't really stop, I'm eating kind of against my will. If I have that kind of relationship with food, will GLP-1s help me? And I will say overall, for most people, the answer is yes. They really do help people who have more of a food addiction relationship with food. And the reason that they do that is because they are working in a, in several different ways, which makes them so effective. So they're working to help people feel their fullness more. So it's even more unpleasant when they overeat. They're also helping this sense of food as entertainment, food as craving, food as a reward. They're also, for some people, really turning down the volume on that. And then they also work in the brain to help reset the energy balance. That's not quite as pertinent to today's topic, but these medications are great. The GLP-1 medications are great because they work in not just one way, but a couple different ways on various mechanisms in the brain and the stomach to help people with food. So for people who have more of a food addiction profile, these medications can be really helpful. Now it's not everybody, not every medication is going to be a perfect fit for everybody, but it is definitely something that if you feel like you fit into that kind of profile and you fit the weight criteria for one of these medications, uh, it is definitely worth having a conversation with your physician in terms of if, if this medication, if this class of medications would be a good fit for you. So to summarize, the two ways that it really helps are with the appetite, like it's just, it decreases the appetite, but also it's gonna make it really, really, really unpleasant if people overeat, right? And then also it's helping that craving reward system in the brain. Another thing that can really help as somebody is going through uh, you, trying this medication is to try to avoid foods that are going to trigger that dopamine reward, food as reward system in your brain. And by that, I mean as much as you can eliminate processed foods because these are foods that have been made to be as delicious as possible, made to be as addictive as possible, right? The goal of processed foods is to get us to eat more of them because they are delicious and appealing to things that we find very satisfying. So these are literally foods that have been engineered to be as appealing as possible. You want to give yourself the best chance at not being addicted to food. And so eliminating those foods uh, is really gonna help you help yourself. Now, like I said, this medication is not going to be the perfect fit for everybody. Some people are going to need this medication plus something like Vyvanse, and because those work in very different ways, they can work very nicely for people, um, for the right person who meets criteria for both. Some people aren't gonna respond well, they're not gonna tolerate this medication, so they might be better off just with something like Vyvanse on its own. That can sometimes be equally, if not more effective for the right person. But overall, if I have a patient who feels like their relationship with food is addictive and it is um, very harmful to their health and they meet the weight criteria for a GLP-1 medication, this is definitely a medication that I will put at the top of my list to try them on. 
It's not for everybody, but it's a really, really useful tool for many, many people out there. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have questions afterward, you can leave them on this video. You can leave them on another video. And if you wanna work with me directly, I do work with people around the world as a one-on-one -on -one life coach for the non-medical aspects of weight and weight management. So I'll leave all that info down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, because this is the place for medically-based answers to your weight questions. Thank you so much and please be well.